What's the matter with you? What are you doing out here? Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. How can people find out about it so soon? It would be too much to say that John Carradine's presence in a movie is a guarantee of quality. Forgive me if I've inconvenienced you. But he does at least enliven those he's in, even if it's just by being slightly crazy. I did not want to frighten you. So seeing Carradine at the top of the credits for The Cosmic Man at least means it probably won't be boring. Just a calculated guess. A strange object has landed in a California canyon. Oh, but isn't another saucer scare? Well, not a saucer. What's that? Actually, landed is clearly the wrong word. What do you make of it, Colonel? Quite a cool image, only ruined slightly by attempts to explain it. Well, it's something like gravity in reverse, I think, like uh, anti-gravity. The ponderous weight of fake science weighs heavy on this movie. And suppose this phantom atom contains particles of a mass of M minus, right? No one has ever come out of a cinema and said, remember the notebook scene? That was awesome. Not even if they were seeing the notebook. I guess you're right about that. Also, where is John Carradine? I mean, I don't think any kind of living thing could be in there. Which we all know is B-movie code for there's definitely something living in there, so let's see it. <coughs> That's better. There's their cosmic man. Why has he come here? <laughs> well, it's nice that he's not invading, but this still isn't the most high-minded of missions. Someone has made a correction in this blueprint. Ah, it's like the story of the shoemaker and the elves. He comes into people's laboratories at night and does their science for them. Something's wrong right here. Yeah, all fatuous joking aside, I really have no idea why he's here. It is better that I remain concealed. Apparently, aliens have been visiting our planet for ages. Many observers such as I have visited this planet before. Coming and going unnoticed, and yet, in one night, he wakes up a dog, this woman, this man, the police, and somehow sets off an air raid siren. <laughs> So, presumably, there must be a reason he's now making his presence known. It is better for all that you do not know. He comes, he peeps, he does some random science, he plays the creepy weirdo in a crippled child's bedroom. Boy has given me much pleasure. And then uses the child as a hostage so he can get back home. If you do as I say, no harm will be done to this boy. But, after that plan goes badly wrong... <laughs> It emerges he has cured the crippled boy. Mother! So he was good all along. Could be some kind of explanation for this, Matthews. The thing is, if he hadn't made his presence so clear and his purpose so bafflingly vague... The general seemed pretty upset and quite confused about the whole thing. He could have just enjoyed his holiday, which I can only assume this was, without getting into scrapes with the military. Your man, just state your business here. The ultimate problem with this movie is that the Cosmic Man is just a MacGuffin, there to give those old B-movie adversaries, the scientist and the army man, something to fight about. You can't go through with this plan, don't you understand? You may be destroying the only opportunity we'll ever have of establishing friendly relations with friendly. the enemy. Using him as a catalyst, they touch on the Cold War. Supposing one of these spheres landed somewhere in Russia. Hiroshima. How would you feel if you were a man responsible for such a weapon? Morality and the nature of trust. I think you underestimate our intellect, Dr. Sorensen. All very stimulating subjects, but not really why we're here. It's like Steve McQueen stopping partway through his great escape to change the spark plugs on his bike. I guess you're entitled to your opinion. Worst of all, this narrative totally sidelines John Carradine. I am here. Just barely. The only character who makes this film briefly into passable entertainment barely appears. Goodbye, Cosmic Man. Cosmic. If you don't subscribe, then the ghost of John Carradine will come get you. He works for us now. He'd also like to know what are your favourite Carradine performances, uh, regardless of how bad the films are. Thanks for watching. Hi, men. Get it out of here. <laughs>